Yeah. You see, everyone's walking around. Look at you and don't walk down shady alleys by yourself. Like I said, if you look for trouble, you're gonna get into trouble. Maybe you don't feel comfortable. 1% of clubs, 99% of clubs. You're like, I'm always at rallies by myself, actually. This is Jordan's first Daytona Beach rally. Y'all were in Daytona, baby! Hey, welcome back to another video guys. We're here in beautiful Daytona Beach for the Daytona Bike Week. This is the rally that starts it off for the whole year. Um, I kind of wanted to bring this conversation with you, share a little insight with a lot of you guys who maybe might be interested in going to these big rallies, but for some reason, there's something that's holding you back. Maybe something is intimidating you. Maybe you don't feel comfortable. Maybe what you have been told in the past isn't what is actually true. So what I wanted to do with this today was just get on the bike and show you guys what the rallies are all about. And show you that you don't have to be scared coming to these things. Anyone and everyone who comes to these rallies come with the sole purpose of uh, wanting to ride, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the shows, and enjoy the party, man. Uh, after all, what, we, what are we doing here? We're, we're celebrating the motorcycle culture, which we all share amongst each other, and this is what it's all about. So I kind of wanted to break this off into a few topics. Like I said, right now we're on the bike. Um, what we're doing now is that we're heading towards Main Street. Main Street here in Daytona is where all the bars are at, all the shops are at. Um, it's it's uh, just a ton of fun. After that, we're going to be heading back to the Speedway, which is where they have all the vendors at. All the different type of uh, motorcycle companies are there as well. It's not only Harley Davidson. There's Indian. There's Honda. Um, Kawasaki just... All the bike brands are here at the Speedway as well. So if you want to hop on, go for a demo ride on a bike, you're able to do that and just hop around and, and, and just enjoy everything. Um, so let's start talking about the misconceptions that some people have about motorcycle rallies is that they may be dangerous. Um, if you're going to take your girlfriend or wife, you shouldn't because they're going to be sexualized. Um, you're gonna, you know, wind up in a in a bar fight with somebody. Uh, club guys are all over, and it's like, dude, like, it's it's not even like that, man. It's not even like that at all. I'll give you an example right here, right ahead, ahead of us. We have Jess from her two wheels. She's leading the pack right now. We have her husband, Jordan, right here behind. I'm riding behind. Then we got Peanut and my boy Pachi riding behind me. Um, there's women everywhere, women riders, there's nobody, you know, grabbing or groping women or, you know, talking down to women. That, that, that doesn't happen, man. That, that really doesn't happen. Can you see, uh, uh, maybe a little argument here and there? Yeah, you might. You might see a, a, a drunk little couple arguing about something. Yeah, you might see that. Um, is there a bunch of single women out here? Yes. Is there a bunch of single men out here? Yes. Is everybody trying to have a good time? Yes. Um, there's married couples out here. There's boyfriend and girlfriends. There, there, there's everything. Um, and and there's you, you really don't have to worry about someone coming over to your spouse and you know touching them or disrespecting them. That that, that doesn't happen, man. Like I was saying everyone's here to enjoy the motorcycle culture. Um, so there's a ton of bars ton of restaurants everywhere a ton of parties different companies from different uh, vendors are throwing shows and parties and it's a it's a it's a whole it's it's a whole thing man it's it's awesome um, plenty of places where you can shop so you get your merch you always want to get your merch every time you go to these rallies because the coolest thing is to go back home wearing a t-shirt from a location or a rally that you went to with the year on it and it's like oh 
it's a good conversation starter a but it too it's like yeah oh like okay you, you were there that's awesome um it's a it's a it's a nice little piece of memory to take with you um like I was saying with the vendors before, um, if you come to these rallies with your bike and you want to customize your bike, uh, a, a lot of the times these vendors, most of the time, but what they'll do is that they'll sell you the parts and then they'll kind of put it on for you for free. Some do, some don't, but it's, it's just their way of saying, hey, you know what, you want it? Buy it, we'll put it on for you right now, free of charge, and you save yourself some money on labor right there, which is uh, huge, because labor is pretty pricey at times. There's also a bunch of shows where you could put your bike in a show for a uh, performance bagger show, uh, performance bike, prettiest bike, uh, chopper shows. There's all type of shows, man. So you could put your bike in there. Your bike could win a prize. That's always a plus, right? If you're into uh, scenic view, scenic riding, like what we're doing right now, most of the time the rallies are in places where there's a lot of cool scenic views. Um, here in Daytona, I mean, Daytona Beach is, is awesome. This past July, I went to the homecoming event in Milwaukee for Harley-Davidson. That was a huge rally, bigger than I expected it to be for the 120th anniversary. That was awesome. Nothing but pure fun. Um, a few years back, I had gone to Laconia for Laconia Bike Week. That was pretty cool. Me and Peanut rode away up there from, uh, from Jersey. Awesome experience. That was my first huge rally that i that i went to and i i, I really liked it man um i've gone to a lot of smaller stuff a bunch of shows you know locally and everything um but this year we're, we're gonna try to hit up a few rallies this year and next um and just share the experience with you guys and and just show you what what it's actually all about um when we get to main street we're gonna whip the camera out we're gonna show you guys we're gonna walk around the town show you guys what it's all about and it's just everyone having fun drinking eating uh people looking at bikes you know everyone's just talking about bikes roll up somewhere people it, it's you're, you're gonna start a conversation right away oh nice bike this and that it's 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 awesome man um i mentioned about the misconceptions of yeah there's always bar fights and this and that like you you really you don't see that i mean hey listen i'm not gonna sit here and tell you no it never happens there's always gonna be a bad apple in the crowd wherever you go so whether you're in a rally a baseball game uh, uh a sporting event um uh, at the mall uh, there's always going to be bad apples who are gonna start some trouble it happens anywhere and everywhere so if, if that was the case then you wouldn't go out of your house um but it's very rare when you know you go to these rallies and you come across something like that unless you're putting yourself in that predicament so if you're the type of person who's gonna come you're gonna get pissy drunk and you're an aggressive drinker and you start issues if you start issues you're gonna find yourself with issues simple as that but dude if you come out here for the culture enjoy everything nothing it's 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 awesome it's pure joy um and it's just the simple fact that everyone out here is pretty much on a bike so you're sharing their experience with everyone on the road and you know stuff like this like i feel like we need to keep pushing we need to keep building in order to attract more riders and and make these rallies even bigger and just you know invite more people out put more people on motorcycles so we can have more riders on the road so 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 important i feel like more people need to start riding motorcycles and believe me once you start riding you come to one of these events you're you're gonna want to come back again and again because it's it's just fun now i also did mention the whole thing about club guys coming around that's i mean that's everywhere any any you you pull up to your local dealership you're gonna see some guys from your local club right you're gonna you, you might see some one percentage from your local area those guys are pretty cool for the most part. Those guys are always pretty cool. They're not gonna bother you unless you're gonna bother them. Just like I was saying before, if you don't go out looking for trouble, you're not gonna find yourself in trouble. Those guys are just in it here for what you're in it, to ride motorcycles, have a good time. They're not gonna bother you. I know a lot of people from a lot of different clubs, 1% of clubs, 
99% of clubs, riding clubs, and and these guys are probably one of the nicest people I've I've ever met. To be honest, really really cool. Anyways, we're uh, we're gonna keep riding. Destination is Main Street right now, the Party Street, and then after that we're heading over to the Speedway. So just sit back, kick back, and enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so this right here is Main Street, right across right here. So we're gonna turn. Well, are they gonna let us turn? I'm not sure if they're gonna let us, huh? We can't turn. So basically, this whole strip is just full of parties, bikes, open parking lots with bikes, people are just hanging out. So it is, baby. You want to turn around and go back? Yeah, I think if we if we go back where we are, make a right, we're able to. Yeah. Like I was saying, Main Street. Look, on this road, you can only go right in through here if you're on a motorcycle. No cars, so motorcycles and people walking. There you got parties. You got a bar right there. Motorcycles, left to right. You see. Everyone's walking around, all ages, younger, older. This is, this is a rally for you. So if you have been unsure, this is it right here. Tattoo shop. bunch of cops everywhere so if you feel like you want to feel safer there's almost cops on every corner saloon people with cool hats <laughs> and bikes on bikes on bikes on bikes on top of bikes bunch of food everywhere oh that smells good that smells really good This is it, guys. So you see everybody just, you see the couples walk in, everybody's with their girlfriends or husbands or wives. Froggies, party in the patio. What? It's awesome. See? people of all ages older younger babies <laughs> so if you want to bring your family you can bring your family this is what you got to experience right here guys so I know you don't see none of that crazy stuff that you might hear Do you want to stay here or do you just want to go to the... What do you want to do? You guys want to chill here or do you want to go to the speedway? Whatever you want. Ask Pachi. Pachi. I was here already. It's up to you guys. Yeah, you, you, want, you want to hang out here or you want to go to the speedway? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I mean, you already rode through, so you're going to bars. Yeah, it's just bars. I really, I really don't care about that. Listen, I'm, I'm doing a video right now, and um, I'm talking about how some people are like scared to come to rallies for like certain reasons, right? So I brought you guys up for an example on it. How, you know, husband and wife, you guys are out here and a lot of times, you know, a husband might be afraid to bring the wives out here because they're scared of, hey, my wife's going to get touched or not. So I'm trying to explain to everybody that it's not like that. And it's really cool. So from a woman's perspective, 
dude, yeah, rallies are not the same anymore. It's very, uh, it might sound bad, but it's very commercialized. Yeah. So they just want everyone to have a good time. They want you to come out, spend your money, and have a good time. That's it. That's so, it. That's what I do. Like, I'm always at rallies by myself, actually. This is Jordan's first Daytona Beach rally uh, with me, ever. And this is just kind of what we do. I, I, don't, I don't feel afraid walking around by myself. Now, does that mean you should just let go of all reason and be right. dumb? Like, so have your wits about you and don't walk down shady alleys by yourself. Right. For men and women, man. So. The same thing I, I was saying, I was telling everybody, it's, you know, if you go out looking for trouble, you'll find it. You'll find it. The same way you could, you could be at a park, at a baseball park, and you'll find yourself with trouble. But everyone's having a good time. You surround yourself with good people and have a good time, you're going to have a good time. That's it. And that's from a woman's perspective, ladies and gents. So take that for what it is. Absolutely. I'm glad you came out, man. This was, uh, this was fun. Sorry it wasn't a more. No. I enjoyed it. So I wanted to get Peanut's take on this because he's been to quite a few rallies and he's been around the around the woods for a while. <laughs> he's been around the block. Um, I was talking to everybody, letting them know what rallies are about, how some people are scared to come out to rallies for certain things. So your take on rallies now and what, what do you think about it in general? Honestly, I think it goes down to the person's personality and what you make of it. If you're going to sit here and look for the bad things in it, you'll find them. You know, a lot of complaints that I get is you have a lot of people who don't know how to ride yeah. on the road. Um, but again, if you go with a good group of people, there's a lot of fun things to do. There's a lot of good riding. You know, you don't have to spend your whole day, for example, here on Main Street and just go to the bars. Right. If that's something you like to do. You'll have a great time. There's a lot of cool bars out there. But um, The scenic views, yeah, the yeah. shows going on. Like I said, in Florida, you're not going to get the mountain rides and the crazy twisties very flat but you can still find some dope roads like we just did right now yeah um again i think it just comes down to who you are and who you're with you know? yeah we can go anywhere and we'll have fun you know what i mean yeah yeah so, uh, you know you got orlando speedway you have uh, the other daytona areas that are holly dealers doing events you go there you spend a few minutes you don't spend the whole day and you go on to the next one but to me it gets me out of new jersey see some different things that i haven't seen and you know, I make the best of it, so that's how I see it. And, and one last question. Should anybody be scared of anything coming up to these rallies? Like I said, if you look for trouble, you're going to get into trouble. If you stay away from it, you're fine. So There you go. That's it. Uh, uh, I thought I was going to be like, yo, you looking for trouble, bro? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're back at the Speedway now. This is where all the vendors are at. So this is a place you're going to want to come if you want to get some cool parts for your bike. All the vendors are at right here. We got shops, 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 more vendors, more shops.
reaction? What's your first reaction sitting on it? 